This is an early letter of George Washington's to Dinwiddie. The year is 1754. It's the spring. The colony of Virginia is mobilizing their meager military resources uh, to try to capture uh, the forks of the Ohio in what is the area of the country now known as Pittsburgh, of course. Uh, Washington has actually just returned to Williamsburg from visiting that region uh, with the intelligence that the French are on the move. So whoever can put a fort there uh, will be able to dominate that space. So. Uh, George Washington is one of the people commissioned to put together troops to, to race out there as part of what's called the Virginia Regiment. And he's struggling to get the resources to recruit his troops. As he writes, all the men that are signing up have no clothing. What he means by that, they have no proper clothing for going on a campaign. Robert Dinwiddie was the Lieutenant Governor of Virginia, which in all, for all intents and purposes is the person running the Royal Colony of Virginia. Uh, he and Washington had a long relationship during the French and Indian War. And he was really an important uh, supporter of George Washington's, but also uh, you know, an antagonist in some ways, because Washington was always begging for things from him, and Dinwiddie was always trying to figure out a way not to send him what he needed. So Washington writes that he wants uh, the, uh, the coats that are provided by the governor to be uh, blood red, to be the darkest red, because he writes, uh, if it was only a coat of the coarsest red which may be had in these parts, it would answer the intention. Red with Indians is compared to blood, and is looked upon as the distinguishing marks of warriors and great men. The shabby and ragged appearance of the French common soldiers uh, affords great matter for ridicule amongst the Indians, and I really believe is the chief motive why they hate and despise them as they do. So he believes that the, the, the uh, uniforms are crucial not only to clothe the men, but they need to have an impact and the red coat, that great British red coat, is something that uh, holds a lot of sway in the West. This was a really important letter to try to buy for us. It came up for auction. We still are building our collection. We're trying to get important letters out of private hands so they're safe, they can be used by scholars, they can be accessed uh, and made available to teachers. Uh, and there's very few letters from this period in George Washington's life. Uh, this is one of the earliest letters of him in any kind of public capacity that exists. Uh, you know, he's only 21 years old at this time. It's before he becomes a lieutenant colonel and then colonel of the Virginia Regiment. And so our goal is to try to make sure that everything that's in private hands that comes up for sale uh, ends up in secure institutional control so that it won't disappear, so that it'll be available for future generations, uh, so that teachers and students can have access to it, and also to help us fill in the gaps of the story of George Washington.